one of the things I want to talk about is how to use Bollinger Bands. So let's uh, let's let's go into some strategy with with how to use Bollinger Bands and what you can take away from viewing Bollinger Bands. Right. So for those of you who don't know, uh, these little bands right here, these bands that trace along the top and the bottom here, these are called Bollinger Bands, and they're basically just a visual rep representation of uh, market movement relative to the simple moving average. Okay, these guys. And typically what you want to look for is you want to look for the squeeze, right, which is this. So you can see that in times of volatility, the bands widen and then they start to come together. And this is called the squeeze here. And typically whenever you get the squeeze, right, that's usually an indication that the market might make a move. The Bollinger Bands don't tell you what direction they're going to go. Uh, they're just an indicator that the market um, is primed to move. It doesn't tell you if it's going to go up. It doesn't tell you if it's going to go down. It just says, hey, we're going places. We're done flatlining. Uh, you know, you basically, you know, you're pushing this rock up to the edge of a, of a cliff. And eventually this thing's just going to go boom, right? It's going to get some momentum. Okay. So that's one thing to look out for, the squeeze, right? Squeeze. And the other thing to look out for uh, are th things like this. Okay, so what do we notice that is, that is uh, special about this and about this? We notice that the candle is formed and closed outside of the Bollinger Bands. So this tells us that relative to the simple moving average, candles like this and like this had an exceptional amount of push to them and they've deviated from the normal trend that we've been seeing and they're likely to pull back. So every time you see a candle like this, it's very typical that you'll see a correction candle that pushes it back within the bands. Okay, so you see one here, goes back in. You see one here, it pulls it back in. Uh, same thing here. Uh, and if we go back through time, like we'll continue to see this trend. So the reason why I bring that up is because these can be good entry points. Or a good point to say, hey, maybe the market's moving too fast and maybe I need to check myself with my FOMO so that I don't uh, all of a sudden you get caught up in, in the momentum and you're not thinking clearly, right? You're thinking, oh shit, uh, FOMO, fear of missing out. I'm going to miss out on a trade and I need to go. Well, take a look at the Bollinger Bands just to keep yourself in check, right? If you see something like this, it's a good indication that uh, there'll be a better re-entry point somewhere lower, right? Not only that, but just in general, whenever you see a trend rising, you don't really want to have a candle outside the the Bollinger Bands, because that means obviously that's going to pull back, right? And if you're in a long position, the last thing you want to do is buy here and then immediately see the market go, oh, <clears throat> shit's the bed. And then you start freaking out and then you sell the bottom and then you're like, oh shit, and it rises to the top. And then you just chop your position. You just chop it and chop it and chop it. So let's go back here. So we'll just say candle outliers. And this works on the way down too. So if, if you know, you're in a bear trend and you see candle candle and then you see candle it's usually going to pull right back up usually right and so the Bollinger Bands aren't meant to be um, aren't meant to be like standalone indicators no indicator is meant to be a standalone indicator right you just you know as a trader you're trying to gather as much evidence as you can to support your thesis for whatever trade you're going to enter right so you're going to check your volume you're going to check your uh, your MACD your RSI and you know your your your, uh, your Bollinger Bands are just another th another um, another tool in your toolkit to give you confidence in entering a trade. So that's just general strategy regarding Bollinger Bands.